Hi you guys, it's Melanie and welcome back to Living Luxuriously for Less. So from the title, you can see that I'm going to be sharing with you guys some tips and tricks and hacks that I have learned over the past few years for designing and decorating and planning events. So without any further ado, let's hop right in. So let's get started with tip number one, and that is to add a layer of glam on a budget. As you guys can see here, I have this very simple apple red table runner, but I'm going to add a layer of glam to it to give it that really luxurious look and feel on a budget. And so the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of, you know, arrange the runner on the table in the direction that I desire it to go. Sometimes I do it all in the same direction. Sometimes I do it in a, um, you know, different direction. It just depends on, you know, how I feel and what I'm trying to accomplish with the look. Next, I'm going to add this um, bling mesh. You can get this mesh from totallydazzle.com. It comes in silver, gold, rose gold. And today we are going to be actually using it in black. And one of the things that I love about it is that it goes a very long way. And it definitely, you know, it's a huge role. You can do so much with it and will definitely give you that glamorous look on a budget. So I'm just going to simply roll it across that um, plain runner that I have. And then um, I'm, I'm just sharing with you guys how I actually, you know, layered that look. And it just gives you that element of glam that wasn't really there before with just a plain red runner. Now I was trying to cut in my right, left, with my left hand, but I'm actually right-handed. But once it's done, I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. You didn't cut it into a lot of small pieces and you can definitely reuse it. But I just feel like that really made the table pop and I cannot wait to share you with you guys what it looks like with all the centerpieces and everything in place. Now the next thing that um, you will often run into in event planning is that if you have to decorate a table you really didn't plan for and you don't have enough tablecloths in that particular size. So that's the next tip I want to share with you guys and that is how you improvise to create the right you know, table skirt or table cloth size that you need for a table. Now, this is a high boy. Um, you would typically use it uh, a 120 round or a 132 round on this high boy, but we don't have any extra ones. So what we're going to do is actually layer it um, with two different tablecloths. And you can use like 290 by 132s, um, 290 by 156s, it just depends. I think Miss Beverly put 290 by 156s on this particular table. And then she had some lace fabric that she had picked up from Joann's. And I just thought it would look really nice on this table as well. So that's another tip for you guys as well. Sometimes like the lace overlays they're beginning getting to be really popular they can be a little bit expensive so always look for like remnant fabrics in joann's or at thrift stores for specialty tables like your cake table or your head table to just add that extra layer of glam so that is my second tip um, and it just looks like a very nice evening gown or something like that it just looks absolutely gorgeous now for this one um, Miss Beverly had actually ordered these um, beautiful red tablecloths. I just thought they were absolutely gorgeous and just so dainty and so elegant. And again, you can use a 120 round or a 132 um, round on a high boy table, but I just think it looks absolutely fabulous. And again, I will leave all the links down to the products down in the description box below if you guys are wondering. Um, the next thing that I wanted to uh, just kind of em emphasize is to carry that entire look throughout the theme. So if you're having black and bling and regular bling, you want to just carry that look throughout that entire theme so that things will not get lost. 
So for those of you guys who are really keeping up, we are already at tip number three, and that is to stretch your resources. As I shared with you guys earlier, bling wrap goes a really long way. You can use them for a runner. You can wrap your tea light holders with them. You can wrap them around your wine glasses. You can create napkin ring holders with them. There is so much that you can do, and it's such a huge role, and it really does go a very long way and so using that will actually help you to tie your theme all together you want to make sure that every single aspect of the room ties back together even the bling along the shoe that you see here on the centerpiece there is so much you know there are so many different elements of bling on the backdrop you see the tie backs is created with bling the bling napkin rings you can find these at totallydazzle.com there are so many ways that you can ensure that all the pieces are tying back to one another you know thus creating a very um clean and a very agreeing theme and I just think that's so important here's another example of making it stretch like this bling can be used to wrap salt and pepper shakers I got one as a gift one year and they were from the Z gallery and I think for the set it was like maybe 40 or 50 dollars but you can get some salt and pepper shakers from the Dollar Tree, wrap them in some bling, and boom, there you have it. So I hope you guys um, in, enjoyed these three tips, and I would love for you guys to comment down below to let me know your favorite tip of them all. Now, as you guys can see, um, along the backdrop, you see the bling wrap, you know, tying back each piece of the backdrop. I told you, bling, bling, bling everywhere but it's not overdone it's tastefully done yet you're maximizing your resources all around the room so i'm going to be quiet for just a moment now and let you guys enjoy the beauty of the space that was created by my mentor um, mrs beverly of course i assisted her she wasn't feeling so well so i did assist her with this minimally um, but she deserves all the creative credit but I just wanted to kind of share this process with you guys and my thought process in designing a room or designing a space. So, so many of you guys have asked me questions about design and decor. So I wanted to just kind of, you know, point out a few tips along the way. And again, let me know which tip you enjoyed most by commenting down below. Getting to me It's not 
So there you have it. If you guys enjoyed these tips and enjoyed watching this video, I know that you will love being in Lux Academy. I will be sure to leave that information down below along with all the information on where you can find items that you saw featured in this video or items very close to the items that you saw featured in this video. Thank you guys so much again for watching. If you are here for the very first time, I would love to invite you to be a part of the official Lux for Less family by clicking on the subscribe button. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Thank you guys for all of your continuous and unwavering support. And until next time, it's Melanie from Living Luxuriously for Less. Cheers!